Hey y'all, this is Zach here and I'm here to discuss this week's coach's tip. And that is that there are many ways to gauge progress in the gym. We've observed that many attach their success in the gym based on their one rep maxes. An absolute strength, which is your one rep max, is just one aspect of your fitness. You can look at, for instance, your improved strength relative to your body weight. You can look at how many times you're moving a given load for multiple reps relative to that one rep max. And that may mean that over time you add a rep or two to how many reps you can accomplish for five or eight or 10 reps. But those one or two rep improvements over time are worth celebrating because they speak to improved muscular endurance, muscular size, and improved technique. In fact, one rep max improvements speak neither to improved muscular endurance or muscular size, as you can accomplish improved absolute strength without either of those two coming up. However, we recognize that there's a challenge because on social media and when we scroll through our phones, we often see the outcome of this one rep max. Now, even if you are a power lifter whose success is largely determined by one rep maxes or a weightlifter who's working hard in the snatch and the clean and jerk, we can look at progress over time as measured by our technical PRs, our volume PRs, and perhaps even the mindset PRs that we set in training that allow for future competition success. So just because you may not see that process occur on social media, do know that the one rep max isn't the only way to gauge success.